This whole Mark Henry, Leo Rush situation, which I wasn't even going to talk about, but then I see the latest update where Mark Henry is apparently threatening to sue Leo Rush now for defamation. What a what a mess this is. So this this I saw the TMZ story this morning. They have a, a little more in the way of details, but basically the story is this. Uh, Leo Rush, of course, was one of the, the cuts. He was one of the victims of the recent releases in WWE. They let him go, and so now he is a free agent. He may never wrestle again, even though he probably will. Uh, but he's got a, a little uh, burgeoning music career for himself. And not for nothing, I've heard some of his music. You know, I've watched some of his music videos on YouTube, and he's got talent. You know, the kid's got talent. He's got a good voice. He may, he may well have a nice little career for himself making music if that's what he wants to do. But he's too young. And he's too talented to never wrestle again. So when he posts on social media that I legitimately may have wrestled my last wrestling match, no, you didn't. W what is he, 23, 24? No, you didn't. Leo Rush will be back in the ring again somewhere. Maybe it won't be for WWE. Maybe it won't be for an AEW. Where I actually think he would fit in even better than he did in WWE. Maybe it won't be them. But I guarantee you he'll wrestle again. But anyway. He was very upset. He fired off a whole bunch of tweets at Mark Henry. He was very upset with Mark Henry, WWE Hall of Famer, Mark Henry, who has been vocal about a lot of different topics. He is a contributor on the Busted Open radio show on Sirius XM. And so Mark is always on there commenting on various things. And if you remember, there was a whole situation last spring involving Leo Rush. He was taken off television. He was doing the stuff with Bobby Lashley. Uh, he was taken off television. There were rumors going around that he was complaining about this, that, and the other. Uh, that people behind the scenes were very upset with him because he would bring his wife to every event. And there would be, you know, I, I don't know why that would bother people. But whatever it was, I guess that bothered people. And he felt that he wasn't making the kind of money that he should be making. He wasn't able to afford rental cars and hotel and... So Mark Henry went at the time, I believe it was on Busted Open, he went and talked about the situation, how he had he had tried to confront Leo Rush about, the, hey, what's going on here? If you've got problems, if you've got something to say, tell me now. And Leo Rush said to him, oh, no, no everything's cool, everything's fine. And Mark was very upset because he basically said, you're lying to me. I don't believe you. You're lying. You lied to my face. And Mark went public about Leo's finances. He was talking about the rumors about how, oh, I can't afford this, can't afford that. And he made comments, did Mark, to the effect of, well, listen, you know, if you can't afford to pay for a rental car or a hotel off the WWE money that you make, you might be spending your money frivolously. I forgot the word that he used. But basically, you might have to get your own finances and your spending habits in order. Get your own house in order if that money is not good enough for you to afford those things. What makes you better than all the guys who paid their dues before you? And he mentioned Stone Cold and The Rock. Are you better than The Rock? Give me a break. And he just, you know, Henry went on this whole rant. And Leo did, gave an interview. He was under contract in WWE and he went and talked to Sean Ross Sapp and gave this whole, like, expose. He was very open and honest to Fightful.com in a way that you would never, ever see a uh, WWE contracted talent going off to a news website or a newsletter or whatever and, and saying the things that he said, which I'm sure only served to get him even more heat, I'm sure. But he had this whole list of grievances at the time, and he said, you know, they took me off the road. They, they weren't uh, sending me when, when Lashley would make these appearances and signings and stuff. I wouldn't be with him. You know, my name, my catchphrase, the whole Lashley, Lashley, Lashley thing which was Lashley's name, <laughs> but he said, that's my catchphrase, I don't get paid for it, off the merch that they put out for Lashley. And he had all these concerns. And he said, you know, it's tough because I can't afford on the money that I'm making in WWE to support my family. I've got a wife. I've got kids. Like Heath Slater, I've got kids. I remember at the time, I want to say it was Mike Johnson of PW Insider, which is pretty reliable, had said that he had heard from sources that around that time, Rush had turned down an offer, a contract offer from WWE that would have paid him somewhere in the range of $300,000 a year, multi-year deal for three hundred grand per year. 
Now, for some guys, you could look at that and go, well, that, that's not a lot of money compared to what some of the other names are making. And hey, this guy's a big enough star or this woman is a big enough star and they should be making double that or triple that. I don't think that Leo Rush, talented as he may be, was one of these guys who could probably in that position, young as he is, turn around and say, well, wait a minute, I'm worth at least double that. I don't want to make 300. I want 600. And I don't know if Leo ever came out and denied the figures and said, oh, that's not true. Uh, but I remember that was being reported at the time. And I thought to myself, okay, well, you know, <laughs> everything is relative here. I can see where that would rub people the wrong way. Like, who does this kid think he is? Yeah, you're on TV. You're a manager, sometimes wrestler at the time. Uh, you're very talented. Sky's the limit in terms of your physical ability. But is he in a position to go to WWE and turn them down and say, no, you know what, that's not enough. I want double that amount. But I could also understand it from the perspective of Leo Rush. He wasn't putting his finances out there. I mean, the rumors may have been there, but he wasn't the one going out and telling people, oh, I don't make this... I make such little money. Only after Mark Henry brought it up, I believe, did he go and do that fightful interview. And he was very upset. Who is Mark Henry to go on the radio and talk about my finances and how I, you know, I should learn to spend my money better when I have a family to support? It's not like it's going to just, you know, I'm, I'm a single guy who's going out clubbing every night. I got a wife. I got kids. Who are you to tell me that I'm spending my money the wrong way? How do you know how, what I spend my money on? So that's kind of, that. that's where this all goes back to and I guess what kind of uh, kicked it all off again is that Leo uh, went on Twitter and ta basically talked about the fact that Mark Henry in the words of uh, TMZ here has torpedoed black wrestlers careers and he wrote this is why African-American talent on the biggest platform will continue to not have equal opportunity because people like you so he was addressing this directly to Mark Henry. People like you constantly tear your own people down. A damn shame, honestly. So, you know, now he's turning it into a racial issue and say, hey, Mark, you're not, you know, what are you doing here? You should be, you should be helping people like me and not tearing us down and speaking ill about us and making things harder for us. And this is, this has very much upset Mark Henry. He says, if you go down to the Performance Center at NXT, he says, you know, people of color, probably 80% of them, I help get them in there. And he said, what Leo Rush is doing, he's clout chasing. He's using my name and my fame to promote his music career. So Mark Henry thinks that Leo's very upset that Mark isn't helping to promote his, his music career. He says, he knows that I get a lot of attention. I have a lot of followers. He released the album or the song or something, he says, and he wanted to use that to get some attention, get some buzz. He said, if he would have just asked me for help, I would have plugged his music. No problem, but instead he's gone way out of bounds. If he would have called me, I would have done it anyway. We would have just worked on it. Uh, I would have really talked it up. We would have made world news, but now he said something slanderous. And you cannot question my blackness like nobody can question my blackness. Pull my black card. Nobody. And he says that he's seriously considering filing a lawsuit. He says, my lawyer went to Harvard. He didn't say if it was David Otunga, but he said, my lawyer went to Harvard. That would be funny, actually, if Mark Henry sued Leo Rush, but he had David Otunga as his uh, attorney. You'd have everybody under the sun sh shouting work from the high. And I would be shouting work, too, probably. That would be ridiculous, but he says, my lawyer went to Harvard. I don't know what kind of lawyer he's dealing with, but I got those Ivy League people around me, and they're pissed. So, that's where we are, and Mark wants him to apologize. So, it's kind of weird. Like, I can see it from both sides here, and I don't have all the facts. I don't have all the details. Maybe, maybe Mark Henry did say other things that uh, harmed his career or it could have just been a situation where Mark Henry is looking to help this kid out by saying listen I'm here to give you some good advice but you can't lie to me you know if you're having issues don't don't lie to my face and say no everything's fine everything's cool and then behind my back in in reality you're having these squabbles with the company over money or or other issues I mean there were a lot of stories about Leo at the time there were a lot of unnamed sources and unnamed wrestlers who 
you know, wouldn't put their name on it, but did back up these stories that Leo didn't hand out water bottles to talent like some of the, you know, the newer talent uh, when when they would come back from their matches uh, or that he wouldn't carry water. And I remember talking about this at the time, this whole notion that, you know, he had to carry bags for other people and stuff. That That's complete bullshit. That's stupid old school bullshit. You know, I, I, when, if, if I'm on that, if I'm on the job, some of these ridiculous, like, customs and the way, oh, you gotta break in, you gotta pay your dues and stuff. And, like, in certain situations, I get that. You can't just walk in and, and think that you, you, you own the place. But, my God, I mean, some of the things that people were upset that Leo Rush didn't do, he shouldn't have done it. I don't blame him for that. I know he's a kid, but he's, you know, he's also an adult. He's got a family. He's got responsibilities. Young as he may be. And also, he had a name when he came into WWE, and this is the problem. You know, when you have a name on the independents, or you come from somewhere, and everyone's talking about Leo Rush, Leo Rush, you know, how talented he is. And then you come in, and they have you doing things that in your mind is demeaning to you. It's going to rub it's gonna rub people the wrong way, and it's going to create problems like it's created here. So that's the cause of the rift here between these two. I don't think Mark Henry's going to sue anybody. I don't think this is going to hit, you know, a, a courtroom or anything like that. Uh, but he's really upset. But I can see it from both ends. You know, Leo Rush, maybe he did shoot his mouth off. Maybe he did. He was asking for more money at a time when, you know, maybe he needed to wait a little bit. Maybe he wasn't in that position yet where the company should have been paying him that much money. But I'm not going to ignore the fact that, you know, in, in some cases, WWE, you know, not everybody makes a million dollars a year in WWE. And they are responsible for a lot of their own expenses. Maybe not their airfare. But they have to pay for the rental cars. They have to pay for the hotels. If you're a guy in the lower end of the roster, and you're not making that, like, Becky Lynch money, or Brock Lesnar money, or Seth Rollins money, you know, when you really look at it, you're not making all that much. Let's say you are kind of the bottom of the totem pole, and you've got a wife, and you've got three kids at home, and you've got to pay for the hotels and the rental cars and things of that nature. You know what? Yeah, it's not that much money. When you really look at it, it's really not. Believe me, WWE is not uh, innocent in all this. And Mark Henry maybe shouldn't have gone off, you know, half-cocked, talking about the, the guy's finances and putting him on blast like that. And now it's turned into this, this whole mess. I think there's blame to go around on all ends here. I don't think it lies all with Mark Henry or all with Leo Rush, but this is turning into a freaking mess. And hopefully these two can... Look, maybe Leo will call in to bust it open and they'll have a conversation. If nothing else... It'll make for great radio.